my name is Catherine Nagy, and I'm so happy to be here uh, at WFYI for their small studio sessions. I'm a big fan of the series, and I'm so honored to be here. Um, I've brought my friends along. I have um, Mr. Austin Johnson over here on guitar and Mr. Tim Wright back here on pedal steel. And we're going to have some fun and sing some songs. Um, this first song that I'm going to sing is called Blossom Time, and it's a song that I'm going to be releasing here in the next few weeks. And uh, it's a song that I wrote back in March when um, all of this craziness started happening, and I needed something to just lift my spirits and make me a little bit happy and bring some happiness to everyone else um, is my hope as well. And uh, we looked out my window, and I saw all the flowers starting to bloom, and that's where this song came from. Smell a dandelion Make your nose shine Wet your toes by a creek side Swing up too high Touch the big sky And flip your hair wild like a child It's gonna be okay Paint life in a different way We're on blossom time It's gonna be alright and why and watch the blooms take rise slip and slide like a sneaky fox tie and find a place to hide and feel the grass slide and eat the coned pines and watch your stones skip for miles it's gonna be okay paint light different way we're on blossom time it's gonna be all right stop your asking why and watch the blooms take rise take a little break in the middle of the day see asta for your Take a nap like a sleepy cat lies Getting sun warmed outside And breathe a big sigh And switch to off style And feel it all go quiet It's gonna be okay Paint life in a different way We're on blossom It's gonna be alright Stop your asking why And watch the blooms take rise It's gonna be okay Paint life in a different way We're on blossom time It's gonna be alright So stop your asking why And watch the blooms take rise Thank you. The next song uh, I'm going to sing is a song called Clementine, and I released this a couple years back. Um, I had done my first uh, debut album called Heart Songs, and uh, this is a song that was inspired by a lovely couple that I met here in Indianapolis, and um, it's about the love that they found, each other, found for each other a little bit later on in life, um, and so I hope you enjoy it. Clementine, you're always on my mind Please say you'll stay forever by my side Oh Clementine, I've loved 
around you all this time You are everything I have longed for I'm so happy you are mine Clementine Oh, Clementine, this life can be unkind It can strip away your heart and leave a gaping hole behind Oh, Clementine, my love for you is blind I will hold you when you cry and I will keep you safe at night Clementine Did you know, did you know, did you know what we would find? What we had, what we've lost, what we've longed for has arrived. Did you know, did you know, did you know I've been waiting all my life for you, Clementine? Oh, Clementine, you're always done guys so nice having you here joining me today uh, this next song I'm gonna sing um, is called Gypsy Lady and this is a song that I wrote uh, about three years back when I first started writing again I had taken a long uh, break from writing over a decade and um, it was something that I really had missed and I really felt called uh, to do again and so um, I sat down at my kitchen table and uh, was really trying to figure out who I was at this point uh, in my life. And um, this song came out. It's called Gypsy Lady. I um, used to live in Ireland, so you'll hear a Celtic influence in it. And um, it refers to me being a gypsy. And I moved around a lot as a child, and so that's where that reference came. Um, and then it talks about how much I like to wear lace, which is true. I love lace. Gypsy lady who dresses up in lace. My mind tends to wander and it takes me place to place. 
I'm always dreaming elsewhere and singing o'er the place. I am a gypsy lady who dresses up in lace. This is such a gorgeous evening. Um, I'm going to close out with one more song. Again, thank you so much to everyone here at WFYI um, for having me and letting me share my music. Um, it's, it's just uh, such an honor to be here, so thank you. This uh, last song is called Beautiful, and it's a song I just released uh, early in October. And it was inspired by um, one of my children. I have three children, three beautiful children, and I write songs about all of them. Uh, this song just happens to be about uh, my eldest. And she uh, graduated uh, into middle school. And um, just watching her grow and become more independent and blossom into a beautiful young lady inspired this song. And I hope you enjoy it. Sweet surprise, treasure of mine. I thank my lucky stars for who you are. Hope you understand, forever is my hand to hold on to. Spark of life And now you 
dreams began I thank my lucky stars For who you are Hope you understand Forever is my hand To hold on to Thank you so much for having us here tonight. Hi, my name is Catherine Nagy, and I am a local singer-songwriter here in Indianapolis, and I'm just so happy to be here, a part of Small Studio Sessions with WFYI. I did music my whole life as a child, um, choirs and band and piano lessons and flute. Um, I even went to college to be a voice major um, and then halfway through college uh, changed and became a business major and uh, actually majored in accounting and went off to work uh, for a consulting firm for over a decade. I also started to have a family. I got married and have three beautiful children with my husband. And as my children got older and I started introducing them to music, um, signing them up for piano lessons and choirs and all this, that's when I really started to remember my love of music. And that was about four years ago. Um, and I knew that I was going to have to do a lot of work to catch up because I had been off for 10 plus years. Um, so I started taking lessons again. I started writing like crazy, started going to open mics, um, really just meeting um, musicians and networking, um, really just trying to put myself out there. I, but you know what? I don't regret a single um, moment of my path because having that business experience for over a decade has made me, um, has really given me a lot of tools for being an independent musician. Um, I understand how the business world works. I can do my own budgets. I can do my own marketing. I can um, really feel comfortable in the business world. Um, and in the last four years, or actually in the last three years, I've uh, recorded and released almost 25 songs. Um, I've had some great shows here at the Jazz Kitchen around town. Really have found my people in terms of the musicians that I play with. So I just feel really blessed to have been able to um, find music in my life. I'm kind of, I took a different path, but I'm so happy. How have you been coping during COVID as a musician and an artist? Well, obviously it stinks, right? There's a lot that stinks, but I am, I tend to be a forever optimist. I'm a glass half full person. Um, and so I quickly realized, well, um, cause I had plans to record a whole album this past spring and we weren't going to be able to do that in the studio. So, um, I quickly set up my own home studio, got my interface hooked up and my mics and started learning a little bit more about sound. I appreciate all the sound technicians here. Um, because I'm trying to learn a little bit more about it, and started writing a lot uh, remotely. Um, Austin and I have continued to record. He records out of his house, and I send vocal tracks, and we're still making songs together. Uh, these two new songs that I'm releasing were done that way. Um, and I've been doing a lot of co-writes. Uh, co-writing was a skill that I had never explored before, uh, but I was able to take a six-month class um, 
based out of Los Angeles. I had signed up for it, luckily. It was a, gi it was a gift, actually, um, to be able to focus on that class for the last six months and network and meet musicians. And so I've got um, tons of co-writing that I've been doing, and we're getting those songs produced. And some other, sometimes, some of them other people are singing, some of them I'm singing, um, and we're just exploring and writing. So I've been busier than ever, um, just growing in a different way, and just really just trying to um, just continue to just move forward with my music. That's what I was going to ask about Indianapolis and how Indianapolis factors into your music. Indianapolis um, has been very good to me. I mean, the open mic scene here is fantastic, and I met so many mentors that have really uh, taken me under their wing and taught me. I mean, I literally needed to learn how to sing into a microphone and how to plug my guitar in. I, I, did, I knew nothing, um, but I could write a song, and I love to sing. And so um, I've surrounded myself with really good people, kind people. Um, and so, yeah, Indianapolis is great. We have a great music scene here in Indianapolis. Nicely done, guys.